Hello my friends and welcome back to the SRP, the Scott Re Project. And today this is a follow on video from my crab dispatch and prep video. Now as you can see in front of me, an array of ingredients. I've got some nice butter, some double cream, some beautiful sherry, cider vinegar, red currant jelly, these two superstars, Liam Perrins, and of course, you know the drill, Coleman's, and then we're gonna add a little bit of heat by using one of these. Now my friends in the south, what do you think? Are you in the Tabasco camp, or are you Louisiana Supreme, hey? I bet you're all shouting at the screen now, dude, go with the one on the left, go with the one on the right. We'll just see what happens as we go along. So, we are making deviled crab on toast. You can see there I've got, what, half a large onion chopped. I'm gonna get some butter in the pan and I'm just gonna gently sweat down the onions. I know it's not the most beautiful term. So we wanna, on a low heat, we don't wanna add no color, we want them till they go translucent. But I'm not using many measurements here. So a good knob of butter, I suppose about 50 grams, get that in. Wait till that melts and we'll get our onions in. My butter has melted, so into that I will put that onion. Like I said, we just wanna sweat this down. No color if we can help it. So just let it get to know the butter. Then I'm gonna turn the heat right down and I want it to just gently tick over for about 10 minutes till they're nice and soft. As you can see then, my onions are ticking over nicely. I'm gonna add some sherry, about 100 ml, but you know, it's all guesswork. You haven't got to follow a recipe completely. You wanna get the heat under that, get it boiling. Into that, some cider vinegar, about a tablespoon and a half, I reckon. That, and then Worcester sauce, I'm gonna put couple of glugs of that in and we will get the heat under that and let it gently get to know each other and cook out a while next to add good old Coleman's so a couple of teaspoons of Coleman's obviously use your own discretion that one or that one you know what I'm gonna go with this one so building up that Flavour profile again, a couple of spots of Louisiana or Tabasco or any hot sauce you desire, dear hearts. Crank in some pepper, give it a little bit of salt. Anyway, that sauce is building up. We want to boil it for a couple of minutes just until it gets a little bit thick. Just see how hot that is. Ooh. And of course, with anything that you reduce, it will intensify the flavor. So what we'll do is when this is a bit thicker, we will mellow it out gently with some double cream. But you know what? I live on the edge. I'm a lone wolf. Let's put a little bit more in, eh? Hot sauce, baby. Sauce is getting nice and thick, as you can see there. So what I will do, just to sweeten that up, because obviously we got our sour in there with the vinegar, I'm just gonna pop in some red currant jelly and stir that in. About, well, decent tablespoon, I guess. That's looking lovely and reduced. You can see how thick that's gone. You need to judge it that it's not too wet. You don't want it to soak the toast. So I think that's perfect. We'll just mellow it slightly with a bit of double cream. Just let that cook out gently. That should have really... That is so good. Do you know what? That sauce would go with pretty much anything. Into that beautiful, beautiful sauce, the brown meat, and that lovely 
claw meat and we just want to warm that through check the seasoning of course and in the meantime one piece of bread I'm going to do it in the pan toast it off Let's build this one beautiful piece of toast bread. Look at that deviled crab in there. I think there's enough for one greedy person here. I wonder who that can be. Or two normal people. But there you have it. Deviled crab on toast. Let's have a look at that. Now you know I hate doing this, showing you beautiful people out there what this is like, but you know, I will take the risk for us. I will make sure everything's cool, but just have a look. Can you get that? There. That. I'll tell you what. It's superb. Man alive, a little bit decadent, maybe, but hey, you're worth it. Mm. Absolutely stunning. And remember, don't be scared of trying recipes. You can always play around with them. Like Gordon Ramsay once said, I think, there are no secret recipes in the world except for Coca-Cola and Liam Perrins. The rest is all free game, baby. Hmm. Oh. Right, one more. Well, you beautiful people, I hope you enjoyed that episode of the Scott Reed Project. What a winner. Be sure to check me out on my social media, Facebook, Scott Reed, the Scott Reed Project. And also on my Twitter at the Scott Reed Project. But go and get yourself some crabs and give this a go. You know them crabs, they're the ones that are always giving it all that. Sorry about that. Till next time, take care. Cheers.